Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyron Jenkins and my call sign is Kaisermax. This is my son, Daniel. And today guys, stay tuned because we are doing an unboxing on the G&G Armand Firehawk. So guys, stay tuned. Right then guys, this is the Firehawk. Uh, it's Daniel's new rifle, so he's one happy chappy. Um, basically, the box it comes in, it's high quality of standard. If we turn the box around this way and just have a look on the opposite side, you can actually see on the back it's exported all around the world, um, all these different countries, Norway, Britain, Canada, USA, Brazil, just, there's just so many different places that uh, uh, g and Armament is um, exporting this rifle. Oh. Um, plastic injection molding, um, obviously that's the stock, you've got um, powdered metal gears, um, yeah it's a quite nice outstanding box to be honest, uh, you can actually see the quality in the box. Right then, first things that we have inside the box, it's a top 5, um, obviously what I just read on top of the box. Um, but this is just basically showing you a number of different things that they actually sell and different range of guns and everything else. Um, put that aside. Obviously you can see the fire hook there. Um, pretty cool. Let's put that to the side. We also get um, high quality uh, BBs which my son will use them straight away. It's quite nice from, from g and Armament to actually give us this. Uh, it's a thousand shots, so we'll probably get that used ASAP. Check it on the side. We also have a plastic magazine that's got a rubber grip on it, which is pretty tidy. Feel that, Dan? What do you think of that, bud? Cool. Yeah, feels tidy, doesn't it? We also have a G&G &G armament uh, Velcro badge that we can stick that right on his head. Like that. So he's happy chappy there. We also get, I think this is a tool for the actual um, sights. Um, and let's get the gun out. Okay. As you can see, this is the gun. I will give a quick brief description of the weight um, and basically what it's made up with and everything else. Um, but there we have it, Dan. What do you think, bud? Cool. So there's the G&G Firehawk. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. At the back of you guys, you've got a lockable um, stock, which you then do and move it to the size that you wish to have. And obviously, if you bring it smaller, which Daniel probably will do, you just bring it on like that, lock it into play, and it is not moving nowhere. You also got a little hidden place as well by you guys that you could put Skittles in, candy sweets, uh, possibly a battery, or maybe a cigar. Who knows? But there's a little extra there that you can put in. So, uh, what do you think of the gun then, Dan? Really cool, really light, really small. If you, yeah, it's just a really nice bit of kit. It's really good. The sights are quite good on them. Um, yeah, well, we'll be, well, I don't know what to say about this. It's just too good. Well, what we're going to be doing, Dan, we will be putting in different sorts of bits and pieces on it to see if it will hold. We're going to put a camera on it for you. We're going to put another sight on it for you. Um, what else is there? Oh, we'll see that at the field anyway. Right then. This G&G is made from a full polymer upper and lower receiver with a total length of 25 inches and a weight of 2.268 kilograms. This gun shoots from 300 FPS to 330 FPS, so perfect in any close encounter arenas. G&G comes with a 8mm version 2 gearbox with steel gears, protected piston heads in a polycarbonated piston, making it a reliable gearbox.
It also comes with a very large muzzle brake. As you can see, this muzzle brake produces very high pitch popping sound. That is very loud. I'll show you how it sounds when I go to Bunker Airsoft with my son in a few minutes to do a little practice shooting, setting up the sights and etc. I hope you enjoy this firehawk. Right then guys, we are now at Bunker Airsoft where we have had permission to come on site so I'm very happy with that. Um, thank you very much. And also, we're going to be using these PSBP BBs that uh, g and has meant to supply us with. So we're just going to stick that in and then we're going to just do a, a bit of a, a test fire at range and um, take it from there. Um, but we've also, the magazine they give it is a high cap and yeah, it's pretty cool to be honest and it fits the, fits the gun fantastic. So what do you reckon Dan, anything alright bud? Yeah. Okay, do you want to pull out and put the magazine in back? We also fitted the Marlboro sights and also we've actually put on your GoPro camera and we also put on your torch and a laser as well. Um, the Firehawk basically holds up, um, there's no issues, no movement. And yeah, I'm very happy with it and my son is like so happy, it's like a Christmas present for him again. So anyway, we're going to go by here now and we're going to start shooting um, with the second pallet saw. So uh, we're going to give this to my son now, um, we can have a look through the sights. Let's put the green one on, the green one down? No, on the red one. On the red one. So my son wants a red dot, there we go, red dot, take the gun, right. Make sure she's on semi and um, carry on down. Make sure you hit the pallets just up from you. Yeah? So, do you hit the barrel? I'm sorry? Do you hit the barrel? Uh, the barrel is way too close. You want to hit the, the thing further up, you know? Hold the trigger in. Right. Should we go in? Okay, check. You're going to wind them up. Just winding the magazine up a minute. Okay, go. That's way too close. Try and it, it uh, pieces of wood. I think with the added extras on there guys, I think my son's struggling a little bit of, with the weight, but trust me, um, the gun is quite light and very manoeuvrable, but it's definitely a distinctive noise on it guys, it's just unbelievable. I think it's one of the highest um, noise rifles that you can actually get out there, so it's all cool. You like it bud? Yeah. Right, you've got to wind the the bit up there. Yes. Yeah, we've got to wind it the opposite way, I think. Yeah, that's it. You've got him. Let me just check. It should be illegal to go... Is it illegal to not go, to go without an iPro? Is it? It's not illegal to go without iPro, but you will get marched off site because if somebody gets shot in the eye, it can cause serious damage. That's why you've got to have iPro on for buddy. Alright? Okay. Okay, okay. Nice. Yeah. Turn on auto. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to wind you have to wind it back up again, bud. I 
I like. Are you going to have to have a go off you now, but. But uh, yeah, we're definitely happy with this uh, Firehawk. So, um, great shout out to uh, G&G for uh, putting this gun together for us to have the opportunity in using something that's so realistic. So, uh, thumbs up. Set the feet. Like the way out. I think we've got our news done. Oh. Fuck, he's gone dead. Right. right then, guys, unfortunately, we are going to have to wrap it up there. Um, really disappointed. I should have checked the battery before I actually came out and charged, but because me and my son were so excited and we wanted to get it out, that's one of the things that we didn't actually cover. Um, but trust me, what a gun. Um, we will be using it again when we're done. Yeah. My son's a little bit disappointed now, but... A lot. Unfortunately, it's, it's not uh, working.